The National Guard Bureau's Geospatial Information Interoperability Exploitation Portable System utilizes a Google Earth Enterprise globe with one meter true color imagery or better and 30 meter terrain. The imagery was obtained through the U.S. Department of Agriculture's National Agriculture Imagery Program and is comprised of true color one meter per pixel orthos. The U.S. Geologic Survey's High Resolution Ortho Imagery Program also provides data sets for the National Guard Bureau's geospatial environment with imagery data sets ranging from one meter per pixel down to six inches per pixel resolution, it provides highly accurate maps available for the National Guard Bureau's area of responsibility. In addition, the NASA SRTM terrain data set has also been loaded into the National Guard Bureau's geospatial environment, providing 30 meter terrain in all of the continental United States. The imagery data sets from USGS and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are overlaid on top of this terrain data set, providing a very accurate map of the surrounding region for National Guard Bureau operations. We will now use the built-in Google Earth Enterprise tools to define an area of interest and share that with other National Guard Bureau personnel. Once we've completed the polygon, we can name it and tilt down to utilize the terrain as well as the ortho imagery within the visualization environment to create an accurate depiction of the area. Next, we'll create a 3D volume using that same polygon by extruding it to 3,000 meters and putting sides on the polygon as well to be able to fully visualize the area that that, that polygon has now covered. The National Guard Bureau also utilizes the U.S. Geologic Survey's Topographic Map Service via a web map service interface. We're able to overlay the topographic maps dynamically on top of the terrain and ortho imagery to create a more complete picture of the area of interest. Rasterized features such as points of interest, contour lines, and elevation points are utilized in this data set that are not available in other data sets that the National Guard leverages. Next we'll look at the U.S. Geologic Survey's Digital Ortho Quarter Quad data set exposed through web map service. Utilizing historic imagery data sets as well as the opacity slider, an operator can determine land features that have changed over time. The National Weather Service's Advanced Hydrologic Prediction Service also provides the National Guard with real-time data monitoring of rivers and streams, providing not only historical data, but a future forecast of river and stream activity. The U.S. Department of Agriculture also has a data set containing fire weather reports for fire prediction service and also leverages data from the National Aeronautics and Space Administration's moderate resolution imaging spectra radiometer. Leveraging this sensor, the U.S. Department of Agriculture can accurately predict potential fire areas defined by polygons as depicted here. The radar feed here provided by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, provides the National Guard with a near real-time view of current weather. Tactical data link messages used by command and control software can also be displayed on this common operating picture. Using translation software such as the Advanced Warfare Environment, commonly called AWARE, the Federal Aviation Administration's Data Exchange Service provides real-time situational awareness of domestic aircraft, both on the ground and in the air. This provides the National Guard with an air picture used for domestic operations. A three-dimensional depiction of temporary flight restrictions imposed by the FAA adds to the National Guard's tools for airspace management. The real-time position of aircraft within domestic airspace can also be displayed in conjunction with the location of National Guard aircraft to add to the air domain situational awareness. 
shown here is an example using a commercially available data feed, depicting air traffic surrounding the Los Angeles International Airport. Current ground weather can be displayed using NOAA's Meteorological Assimilation and Data Ingestion System, which ingests and displays Remote Automated Weather System, or ROS sensor data. Nautical charts provided by NOAA can also be overlaid onto the visualization system. The National Guard uses the U.S. Department of Transportation's Maritime Safety and Security Information System, or MSSIS, to visualize a near real-time feed of naval vessels, adding to surface domain situational awareness within Jeep's common operating picture. The Eagle Vision and Rover Responsive Exploitation of Space Products for Tactical Use, or EVEREST program, was built by the U.S. Army Space and Missile Defense Command's Future Warfare Center for the U.S. Air Force's Air Staff A2Q ISR Innovations. EVEREST exposes georectified and orthorectified satellite imagery direct downlinked and processed by the Eagle Vision program's deployable commercial satellite imagery ground stations throughout the globe. The data is exposed using web services and can be viewed on commercially available globes such as Google Earth, GIS analytical systems such as ArcGIS, and disadvantaged user tools such as Google, Bing, Yahoo, or OpenStreetMaps. Performing basic analysis such as determining the length of a tornado track is easily accomplished using the built-in tools such as the ruler tool which comes standard with Google Earth Enterprise. Mousing over an image highlights its extents in blue to aid the user in easily identifying the correct image for their task. Once an image has been identified, the user can then choose to stream the full resolution image on the globe via web-based mapping services such as Tile Map Service. This in conjunction with the opacity slider allows full exploitation of a before and an after picture. Each satellite image is timestamped with the date the imagery was acquired. In conjunction with spatial search, this allows for a full four-dimensional browsing of imagery available from the Eagle Vision systems. Within the Google Earth environment, additional data sets can be overlaid onto the satellite imagery, creating enhanced situational awareness. Airport locations from the Homeland Security Infrastructure Protection, or HSIP program, are overlaid on post-event satellite imagery to quickly determine the effects of flooding on airport operations. Maritime sensors can also be leveraged on the Jeep system. Dynamic data sets, such as this commercial data feed from ClearPoint's Global Marine Weather, displays naval conditions in easily discernible graphics. These data sets can be used for severe weather predictions such as hurricane preparedness. Commercial satellite imagery is utilized more and more in ongoing operations. Due to this, a clear picture of space-based assets available to National Guard commanders is critical in predicting when and where an imagery collection can occur. To aid in this, a real-time satellite position feed generated by Analytical Graphics Satellite Toolkit, or STK, provides space situational awareness for commanders. The Geospatial Information Interoperability Exploitation Portable Client, or JEEP, is a Windows-based application which allows the rapid geospatial exploitation and dissemination of full motion video across unclassified networks while simultaneously providing a common operating picture platform through the Google Earth Enterprise geospatial environment. Users can collaborate via chat, still photos, video, and Google Earth KML overlays through a distributed infrastructure. The Advanced Warfare Environment, or AWARE, Video Elements Program, commonly called AVE, 
is a full motion video exploitation and analysis tool built by the U.S. Army Space and Missile Defense Command's Battle Lab to support joint users across combatant commands who require on-demand access to full motion video in the field. Users can perform keyword, geospatial, or temporal searches against the AVE database and display the results as thumbnails similar to Google's YouTube. The AVE player allows the user to stream video with annotations directly from the AVE server while being able to pause, fast forward, and rewind the video feed in order to annotate individual frames with either keywords or screen overlays. The AVE player is also able to display the geospatial metadata accompanying each video frame as a dynamically updating place mark within Google Earth, providing spatial awareness of the video relative to the Earth. AVE supports multiple methods of ingesting video. Within the Jeep system, AVE leverages either a direct analog video feed from the vehicle's organic sensor or direct radio connection using a remotely operated video enhanced receiver or rover system from the Air Force A2Q ISR Innovations Group. This video is then geotagged with spatial information gathered from an organic GPS or a cursor on target data feed. Additional annotations on the ground can be added within the Google Earth geospatial environment using built-in features such as place marks, paths, or areas. Additional customization is also available to end users through this capability. AVE supports both electro-optical or EO sensors as well as infrared or IR thermal sensors. AVE is a robust tool for full motion video exploitation and dissemination in use today throughout combatant commands throughout the world.